The theme of Beyonce's new era is futuristic silver-colored androids and aliens in space right now, which is why my preparation for her concert started here, in this store, looking for an outfit to wear at the concert. If Beyonce was going to be looking like she came straight from the future, so were we, because you gotta keep up, honey, you gotta keep up. So I asked the store lady if she had a space warrior or alien type costume because I'm going to a party where that will be the theme. She said, no, um, your friends need to come up with more simple costume party themes. I wanted to say, girl, the Beyonce is throwing this party. Ain't nothing about this party gonna be simple. Anyway, since the only space themed costume I could find in there was this, I walked out of the store without buying anything, I hopped into a car, went to the airport and flew to Poland because I hoped that surely there were going to be stores that have the outfit that I'm looking for over there. And because that's where the Beyoncé concert was going to happen, of course. We took her luggage with us, said our goodbyes, and the adventure started. Airport security. Thank you, Lawrence. I'm hot, hot, hot. <laughs> then we prepared to board one of these giant metal constructions that weigh a million tons yet somehow managed to soar into the sky. Yeah. I do have a strange fascination with planes. And just a few hours later, we landed in the Polish capital. C'est vraiment toi.
We took a stroll in the neighborhood under the evening sky, and then we tried out a local fast food where we had a conversation in broken English to order a meal that was delicious but way too big for our stomachs. Where is the Wi Fi? The rest of the evening, we chatted while Miss Renese, Lady Renese Anisha, sang in the background, listening to the album while waiting for the live show coming in two days. So how you feeling? Feeling good as hell? Today, the day before concert day, would be a tourism day. A day for visiting the capital, learning about Polish history, and finally finishing our quest for the perfect Renaissance concert attire. Thank you. Do you know where we can take the, the big buses tour guides for the tourists? Big bus? Yeah. A kind stranger offered to escort us to the bus and to give us a short history lesson on the way there. Yes. So after the Second World War, during the Second World War, Warsaw was destroyed. All that's completely destroyed. Not by bombing, not by the aerial bombing, but by the Germans retreating and destroying everything as they left. On their way back, yeah. yeah. And so Warsaw was rebuilt with Soviet money. West, West Europe rebuilt with American money, the Marshall Plan, East Europe rebuilt with Soviet During the bus tour, a voice in our headphones told us about the history of the monuments we were seeing. Here are the names of some monuments for those among you who are also interested in learning. Père Noël est venu un petit peu en avant, c'est donné. Un petit peu en avant. 
Now that the bus tour was over, we were back to preparing for the Renaissance tour date. We were going shopping for clothes that were either silver like a robot, green like an alien, or just shiny. Renaissance shiny. And since the weather forecast for the day of the concert was cold and rainy, the outfits had to be warm too. After a long search across multiple stores, we both finally found the outfits we were looking for. I was lucky to get my hands on the last pair of shiny silver sequin pants in the store. I chose them over the silver sequin dress that many, many other people were trying on. It appeared that a lot of people in that store had the same goal in mind that we had. They wanted to make tomorrow's concert as unforgettable as possible through the power of fabulous fashion. Uh, we found them. Uh, no, we actually found it like randomly, oh, yeah. and the so right no. size, so it's like oh, no. definitely. Yes, yeah. yeah. You go to the concert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, we do this. Eyes are Beyonce, cheeks are Jay, and that's that on that period. À 7h ci demain, on sera au concert. Mais imagine Blue Ivy, elle est fatiguée, elle vient pas. 
Toi, tu veux pour qui <rire> Mais aussi pour elle. Elle est-ce qu'elle vient pour toi Oui. Jinko Ya. Jinko c'est merci. Tu as étudié ça C'est bonjour. Prezep. Prezep. Je 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 Excuse me. Je Hello. Hello. Cześć. 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 Chien De toute façon, c'est le plus important. Ah, c'est le plus important, c'est ça, la reconnaissance. Chien Oui. Chien 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 We are ready. Let's go. Non, on m'a pas te dit danser avec le parapluie. Yeah, c'est bon. Merci bien parce qu'on est tranquille. We don't need no parapluie. We don't need it. The luck is going to be on our side. It's not going to rain today. All things glitter. As we walked closer to the stadium, we saw that everyone around us was dressed in regular outfits, and I started to wonder if we were going to be almost the only ones in the stadium who had chosen to wear an extravagant look for this occasion. But we ended up not being the only ones at all. Even closer to the entrance of the stadium, that was where all the cowboy boots and the cowboy hats and the silver glitter were. That was where we started to truly plunge into the dreamy world of Renaissance. We're definitely not the only ones. Look behind you. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 Finally, I was seeing what I had seen in many videos of the concert online, but with my own eyes. I hadn't seen much of the show online because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, but I was familiar with the image that was shown on the big screen before the concert started, the color bars that looked like the test card on an old TV. 
I really liked how well this image fits the retro and technological themes of the album. The retractable roof of the stadium was closed, so it was official. This show was going to be rain-free, and tens of thousands of people were going to get to enjoy it in this huge stadium. The energy in this place was friendly, enthusiastic, and fearlessly flamboyant, much like the image of the star that we had come to see perform. The energy here was everything it needed to be. Slowly but surely, the stadium got fuller and fuller, and the beginning of the show came closer and closer. Then there were only a few minutes left before the beginning of the show. Then there were only a few seconds left. And then, finally, she was there, in flesh and blood. And we were having the time of our lives. I didn't film much during the show because I was too busy popping and locking and destroying my voice screaming the songs, but y'all can see the show somewhere else. There are enough clips of that online already. It was an amazing show. It was giving vocals. It was giving visuals. I have zero complaints. Zero. Except maybe one, actually. During the song My Power, I was looking forward to seeing Blue Ivy pop up on stage. I expected her to wave at us sweetly and then suddenly start dancing like she's the second coming of Sasha Fierce. You know, because that's what she had been doing in the concerts lately. But none of that happened. She wasn't there. She didn't come. I was a bit disappointed, but I get it. She's like 10 years old and all of this is way past her bedtime. Maybe she was more interested in playing video games than performing in front of 20,000 people next to one of the biggest superstars in the world that evening. Who knows? Les Twins, our French-speaking comrades, were there, however, and they killed it, as usual. Speaking of Les Twins, here is a little story time about them. I've actually attended a dance workshop that they gave in Paris once, and boy, the precision with which they dance is everything. Dancing isn't a matter of just moving arms and legs for them. It's a matter of moving everything to the beat. Everything. From their eyebrows, to their fingertips, to their toes probably. And it's amazing to see live up close. During the workshop, the twins, Larry and Laurent, split us up in two groups, and each one of them taught their group a choreography. If you were there, you could choose to participate or to just watch the class. I decided to participate. Larry taught us the first dance move in his choreography, and I was cool with that. All right. 
then he taught us the second move. I struggled a bit, but I was still kinda doing alright. Then he taught us the third, the fourth, the fifth, and I was gone with the wind, darling, caught up in a violent storm. I held on tight to keep up with their dance class because these guys had not come to play. Larry is a patient teacher though, so we repeated the steps a lot and I started to catch up a bit. I did his dance moves the best way I knew how and persevered until the end of the class. Larry actually walked over to me and laid his hands on my shoulders saying that it was awesome that I was so determined. Which means that I must have been visibly struggling. Struggling, bumbling, fumbling. But the moral of the story is to never give up, I guess. So it was nice to see the twins again. And the other dancers were phenomenal as well. I walked out of that stadium feeling deeply content. I wasn't sad that it was over, because the concert had given me everything I came for, and I got a lot of satisfaction simply from reliving these moments in my mind. The next day, we woke up early to catch our flight back home. We boarded the plane that was reserved for Beyonce fans. A beehive plane coming to pick us up. Inside the plane, the stewards asked to see our Renaissance tour tickets to make sure we were true Beyonce fans. Otherwise, we would be asked to exit this plane and to take another one. Some guy had lost his Renaissance store tickets, and he was kicked out of the plane. He kicked and screamed in protest, and he even did the single ladies dance to prove that he was a real fan, but the stewards dragged him out of there anyway. Then our plane took off without him. Okay, that didn't really happen, but it feels like it could have happened because of the giant bee on our plane, doesn't it? Now that was an interesting coincidence. So, what actually happened is, it was a regular plane with a random bee on it, we boarded the plane, everyone was allowed inside the plane, and we all flew away into the clouds. The end. <laughs> <laughs>